These are my Jumbo Katornix quail. I'm going to show you how I feather sex them. This right here is one of my beautiful females. As you can see, under her chin, she's got a beautiful set of black spotted feathers. You see all those black spots? Down lower on her belly, they're more uh, plain or white spotted. But up around her chin and just under her neck, those are black spots. Now I'll show you the difference with the male. The male will have the plain or the white spotted all the way up to his chin. So the female does not. I'm going to show you her back. And if you take a look at her, her eye also, on the male, the stripes are super prominent. And on her, they're not quite as prominent. So sometimes you can feather sex, sex them also by the head. The male's heads tend to be a little bit prettier. Now here is my very beautiful male. You can see his stripes are much more prominent on his head. And under his chin there, he doesn't have any black spots on his chest. This is how I know by feathers that he is a male. And he is the, on his backside. He's the same color as the female. Let me show you another color. Now this is one of my lighter colored males. As you can see, he's got dark feathers around his eyes, but he doesn't have those black spots like the female did. So again, even though he's this beautiful buff color, he is still a male because he doesn't have the black spots on his chest, on his feathers, on his chest feathers. Let me show you a female in this color. Now this female has plenty of black spots on her chest, all the way up to under her chin. And as you can see, the feathers around her eye are not quite as dark. On the male, those dark feathers cover the eye. So that's how I know. Oh, I'm gonna put her out. I'm gonna put her back in her cage because I don't want her to injure herself since she got her feathers free. She's very pretty. Let me show you the back side. See how pretty she is? All right, I have one more I'd like to show you. Okay, so I have one last bird I wanna show you. This is a female. Now she tricked me. I had her in a cage full of males and I didn't know that she was a female until she laid an egg. And I didn't know that the egg had come from her. I really had to study all of my males to figure out which one laid the egg. And the way that I was able to finally figure it out was based on her eye. If you'll notice, she's got really doesn't, she really doesn't have any black spotted feathers on her chest like the, like the females normally do. Her, her chest feathers look like male feathers, but her eye doesn't have any dark feathers around it. And that's what made me think that this this one was the one that laid the egg in a cage full of males. And so I separated her and put her in a cage all by herself. And sure enough, there was an egg in her cage after a couple of days. So that's how I learned that this one was a female. So from now on, I'm really going to be extra careful. I've been doing this for, for almost two years, and that was my first experience of getting the, the um, feathers wrong when I was um, feather sexing my birds. So she's very sweet. I'm going to put her back now. All right. I hope you've been able to learn something valuable today.